stepping out from behind his desk, Desert Sounds Unified School District Superintendent Scott Bailey takes on internships in various departments to find out how things really work for the people who support student education. Wearing not so ingenious disguises, he sets out on not so undercover missions to learn more about what makes the district tick, who works to support the front lines of teachers, and how students can receive even better service. Good morning, Mary. Hey. Did you see this awesome article? Mm -hmm. Desert Sands gets top score. Front page, top of fold. Can't do better than that. That is a great way to start a morning. Sure is. So what else is cooking? Well, cooking. Interesting. I see you're eating, but I just walked by Nutrition Services. Whatever they're cooking in there smells really, really good. Well, they actually just dropped this off a little while ago. But it's been a while since you've been over there. It's been a long while mm. since I've been over there. In fact, I was just thinking that as I came in. Yeah. I serve 24,000 meals a day, mm -hmm. nutritious meals at that locally sourced for the most part. Uh, it's a fantastic operation. I'd like to get back in there, but I'd like to go in in such a way that they mm. don't know who I am this time. Hmm. 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 I have an idea. Okay. I think I've got this figured out. Okay. I'll go in undercover. Okay, you don't want to talk it through a little bit more? No, no, I've convinced myself already. Okay, I can tell. Undercover. I'll go in undercover. As an undercover you... soup. All right, like, like as that an ring? intern? You don't want to think about it a little bit more? Trust me. Uh, I've okay. got Okay, all right. Hey, Scott. Hi, Mary. Scott here. You know, I suddenly realized I hadn't really thought this all the way through. Oh, good. Some second thoughts? Change of heart? What are you talking about? Come on down. Come to my office. I've got a surprise for you. Okay, I'll be right there. Come in. Hey, you have a surprise for me? I do, as a matter of fact. You know, I have to wear a lot of hats around here. You know, just for examples. And you keep this under your desk. I do. Everywhere I go, people recognize me. Mm -hmm. That's true. Well, finding the right disguise is the key to this operation. This is perfect. Perfect for what? <laughs> this is it. Maybe. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, what about this one? Mm. Come on. Are you saying this doesn't add up? Oh. I'm loving it. Maybe a little less. We can work with it. I'll be back. Okay. Call me Beard. James Beard. Yes. Does this work? Yes. Nailed it. Good morning. I want to introduce you to your intern, James Beard. Who? Beard. James Beard. Oh. Hello, James. Nice to meet you. Nice Have you meet. worked in a food service kitchen before? Uh, not exactly. There was this one time, but we shouldn't discuss that today. Well, sometimes ignorance really is bliss. Today you were going to be getting ready to serve our 34 schools. You're going to be working on the line with some of our employees. But first, I'm going to need to get you in your proper uniform with a hairnet and a beard guard, etc. So, if you'd come with me, please. Sure. Okay, good luck. Don't mess this up. I got this. Just stand right there. Right here. There's going to be plates being put on the belt. You got to put an orange in each, in each tray. Okay, so trays on the belt. I put one orange in each tray. Ready? That's easy. Ready. One orange, each tray, on the belt. This looks pretty easy. Yeah, I think I can handle this. 
Oh, the life of an intern. You could almost do this one-handed. Smell very good. Maybe I can eat while I work. Be uh, speeding up a little bit. Okay, it does seem to be picking up a little speed. Sit down, sit down. Are those our oranges? Oh, uh, Give me those. Yes, Mr. Capello, uh, these may in fact be your oranges. This may take a while. I understand you had some problems with your assignment today. I have to admit, sorry, I was just a little bit distracted in there. The noise, the oranges. There was a lot of good food cooking it in the kitchen. And I have to tell you, these oranges are awesome. Uh, I couldn't help myself. I was hungry. Well, James, thank you for your honesty. Not only do our meals all have to meet state and federal guidelines and regulations, but they also have to be meals that kids want to eat. Are you sure this is the career for you? You know, um, I was thinking about that. It's probably not the career for me, but there are some other ways I can spread the great news about the great things that happen in nutrition services every day. So yeah, I'll look for an alternative. Because, Dan, it's me. Ouch. Scott Bailey, superintendent. Wow, Scott, you had us all fooled. I know, right? You had no idea that was me in there. Oh, sure. It was just my way of getting in without you guys knowing who I was so I could find out what's really happening behind the scenes. Now I can get wow, out of here. Wow, Scott, you don't need to be so hands-on. No, I, I get it. I'll, I'll figure out another way to spread the word. Have you thought about trying security? Security? Hmm. Let me call Ed Nakua and see what I can do. Put me on patrol. Ah! 